And we're back with another motherfucking daily dose. <clears throat> if you got questions, put them in the motherfucking question mark box. I'll get to them accordingly. What the fuck's up? What's going on? How's everybody fucking doing today? What's up, Instagram, Spotify, Apple, all you motherfuckers? What's up, everybody? How's everybody feeling? Flat all day, every day in the motherfucking building. What up, flat? Butter candy in the building, elevated in the building, dank, fucking puff of I guess, flat all day, every day, what up, what up, what up? Flat the shit you fucking just fucking posted looks ridiculous. Ridiculous. Didn't find no keepers there, right? Didn't find no keepers there. Just all straight ridiculous dank. Straight fire. So, what the fuck is up? What's everybody doing? What's everybody getting into? If you got questions, put them in the motherfucking question mark box. And I'll get to them accordingly. What the fuck's up, everybody? How's Instagram doing? How you guys feeling? What I missed today in motherfucking drama land? As always, the fucking notifications never stop. Oh, my God. The notifications never stop. 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 Just just from fucking 5 to 6 p.m., just fucking take a break. Just fucking jump on the live and ask me questions here. Relax. Uh, what's the genetics on the Mambas? And what's the Terp profile? Uh, the Terps are straight pineapple fucking candy, pineapple juice, a little bit of OG gas in the back, and, uh, as far as the cross, I have no idea. It's a clone. It's a clone only that probably will get super popular and people will say it's fake. Uh, as far as the actual cross, I have no idea. There'll probably be a bunch of stories coming out later. Uh, what nutrients do you use? House and garden. If it's in cocoa, I use house and garden cocoa. If it's in water, I use aqua flakes. Very simple.
uh, pineapple sorbet. Uh, Mamba's is um, more frosty. I mean, you're staring at it right now. Uh, it's not the best bud of it, but it that is it. That's it. Fully, full of seeds. Super overripe. What happened to the contest with the girls and the copy sign? Um, I haven't been checking my DMs. I haven't been checking my DMs. Uh, can you use Aqua Flakes and Cocoa? Yeah. Just add more CalMag. But, I mean, if you're growing in Cocoa, just use fucking Cocoa. Yeah, flat. Your pineapple sorbet looks ridiculous. Frost monster. Frost monster in the fucking building. I never find keepers. I never find keepers. Uh, I just never find keepers. All I find is herms, and there's never any keepers. <clears throat> High school sweethearts, whack. I got a couple packs of that shit. Gage green shit's trash, bro. You don't want that. Don't believe it. Trust me. Trust me. Can I address that? No clue what you're talking about. Unless you're talking about a question that I skipped over. There's a fucking lot of them in here. Uh, what nutty flavors? Uh, go for do si crosses. Uh, CalMag all the way through. Yeah, I use CalMag every feed. Copy. Do you copy? Do you copy, copy? Any other cocoa other than Canna that you recommend available from Amazon? No. Uh, House and Garden Cocoa is what I prefer. Um, I do use the Canna bricks as well. But um, the House and Garden stuff you ain't going to find on Amazon. My cereal milk is uh, is one of the best I've seen by far. Bitches turning black. <clears throat> uh, looking for citrus flavors. Uh, Macaholic. Or mimosa crosses. If you want like straight orange tangerine type of citrus.
uh, earthy gas. Uh, high octane's gas, but uh, like earthy. You might want to throw some chem in the mix, try motor breath, something like that. Uh, when in your breeding career did you notice that you were surpassing the top breeders? Uh, I, I don't notice that. All I do is what I do. I, I don't, you know, <clears throat> trust me. Some people think that, um, you know, being a top breeder means you need 200,000 fake followers. So I, I don't know how they judge who's the top breeder. All I wanted to do is what I do. I just wanted to put out a fuck ton of strains week after week after week and get on schedule. And I've been doing that for quite some time. So I'm happy. <clears throat> and that's it. I just fucking wanted to get on schedule. The same schedule as my production rooms, you know. I just wanted to uh, see a breeder that actually focused on making seeds just as much as they focus on growing weed. And uh, I don't see, still to this day, I don't see anyone doing it. Nobody focuses on making seeds as much as they focus on growing weed to smoke. So, <clears throat> you know, that being said, I, I feel like none of them are actual breeders. They're just people that grow weed and make some seeds on the side. Because if they were breeders, they wouldn't even grow anything but seeds. If you're a breeder... And w what your main goal is to do is to make seeds. Then why do you never fucking show any kind of seed shit and you're just always showing your recreational bullshit? Like, we get it. Everybody grows weed. Everybody smokes weed. Fine. Fine. But the whole point of what I was doing and what I still continue to do is focus on the seeds. Grow weed for seeds only. Then you could call yourself a fucking breeder. Why? Because you're constantly breeding. You're not just breeding, you know, one round a year, uh, one release every six months or something. You're actually fucking breeding. You got, like, listen, if you're growing weed in production, you got to harvest every week. You have to. You'll be out of business. What are you going to do? Harvest well, fucking once every six months? I mean, everybody in here that grows weed fucking harvests at least like once a month or once every other month, depending if you got two tents, then you do it every four weeks or whatever. I mean, you got noobs with two tents harvesting every four weeks, but yet you got top breeders, the top, the fucking in quotation air quotes, top breeders, and they fucking constantly growing a ton of weed for recreational or medicinal, whatever the fuck it is, but never growing seeds. They do one drop fucking and try to make it exclusive and all this bullshit. So, I mean, that was my goal. My goal was just to fucking grow a lot of fucking seeds and show people that if you put your fucking mind to it and put in a little work, you could fucking harvest a fucking batch of seeds every week. It's not hard. All you need is eight rooms, eight tents, whatever the fuck you want. And then 56 day strains, and then you're fucking harvesting every single week, just like you would in production. And then after a while, your fucking menu looks like mine. Retarded. It looks so retarded, you swear it's fucking impossible. But it's very, very possible and very, very simple to do. It's not even hard to do. That's the funniest thing. Like, eight lights? I mean... You got recreational spots with hundreds and hundreds of fucking lights. You're telling me getting eight lights in eight little bullshit-ass tents with some filters is hard to do? It's the fucking easiest thing to do. It's the easiest thing to do. It's way harder setting up fucking 48 lights for your flower room. What the fuck? You know why? Because they're not confident. They're not committed. And they don't want to be consistent. That's what you got to do. That's what you got to do. If you're worrying about fucking lineage, I, I see you answering, uh, asking the same question. If you want the lineage to a specific strain, go to the website and find out. Go to the website. Click on the fucking website. Click on the link. 
and it'll tell you the lineage. I don't know why a motherfucker want to ask the same fucking question 20 times, <clears throat> knowing damn well if you know what Gobstoppers is, then you know the lineage. Then you know the lineage. Why? You've seen it on the site, right? Well, right on the fucking site, click on it, it tells you the lineage. The fuck? The fuck is really going on? What the fuck is really going on? Yeah, you got to be consistent and you got to be committed. If you're fucking committed to a to a specific goal and a specific job, task, whatever, then you can achieve what you want to achieve. But if you're just fucking fucking off and trying to do one drop a year, man, listen, that's not a breeder. And I don't want to fucking hear Paul and Chuck and this and that. Nobody does nothing different than what the fuck the next guy does. Nobody, and especially the motherfuckers with regs, and especially the motherfuckers just picking males and fucking pollinating shit. I don't give a fuck what you think you're fucking telling people. But listen, you got a male and you fucking let it grow. That's it. It pollinates by itself. Reversals, yeah, it's a little trickier. It's a little trickier. What spray did you use? How'd you do it? What fucking what da 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 da? da. There's a little more tricks making femmes, and then autos, forget it. Autos is the king of fucking pollen chuckers. You can't make any selection. You just got to fucking hope and pray that whatever fucking grows is going to be halfway decent. There's no no such thing as clones and selecting and pheno hunting. There's just grow the fucking seeds and fucking, if you're going to make feminize, just spray one of the fucking plants and hope it pollinates everything else. That's all autos is. That's the trash. That's the biggest fucking trash. Like whoever fucking thinks they're breeding autos is a joke. Stop already. Stop even lying to yourself. Like, it's funny. Motherfuckers want to lie to everybody and lie to everybody. Listen, all you're doing is lying to yourself. You're lying to yourself. It no one gives a fuck what you do anyway. Nobody gives a fuck about anything. All you got to do is lie to yourself. If you're keeping it real, you got to keep it real with yourself. I don't give a fuck what any of these motherfuckers think. I got to keep it real with myself. I got to wake up every day and be myself. I got to be me. I got to pay my bills. I got to feed my kids. I got to do what I got to do. So you got to be real with yourself way before you fucking be real with another motherfucker. Fuck another motherfucker. You think I give a fuck what any motherfucking Instagram cat got to say? I don't give a fuck. What the fuck? This Instagram cat going to come over here and mow my lawn, pay my bills, fucking fix my shit? Hell no, they're not. Hell no. So you got to keep it real with yourself, man. And listen, lying to all these motherfuckers, yeah, Mephisto, F5s. Listen, F5 are fucking just straight, straight picking seeds and fucking planting them, and then it fucking grows, and that's it. You're just growing autos, and especially regs, you're just growing autos and leaving the male there. That's it. There's no way to tell if the fucking male or the female is good until it's over. Until the seed's already made, you don't know what the fuck anything is doing. You have no idea what anything is doing. So, fuck all that shit. But yeah, keep it real with yourself because no one gives a fuck about you anyway. You want to lie to people? That's fine. You're only lying to yourself. You're only lying to yourself, motherfucker. Trust me, because no one gives a fuck about you. Crosses on the master list are femmes, right? It depends on what it is, man. Go on the master list, right? And then read it, and it'll tell you what it's made of. You get it? Auto fire. You get it? Every time I do a drop and add something to the fucking master list, it's in a weekly format, and it tells you how the drop was made, how the seeds were created, what's the profile, how the fucking pheno was chosen, if it's a reversal or if it was bred with a male stud, 
So it, it, that's how you tell. And it'll say, it'll say it. The line will say, this reversal was used to make feminized S1 and R1 seeds of this crosses. It'll say it right on the list. So if you know about the master list and you're already reading the master list, stop and actually read it. Don't just look at the fucking crosses and keep scrolling and look at some more crosses and keep scrolling. Read it. It'll have a date and then it'll tell you a little fucking story and then it'll tell you the fucking crosses. You see what I'm saying? And then you're good. Then you're good. Uh, the peanut butter breath and stuff like that. Yeah, they're dosy crosses, man. They got like an earthy, nutty, cookie, cushy type of uh, flavor. I don't know. I mean, everybody's palate's different, and I don't know what, like, it's weed. How about this? How about this? Let's let's cross the question out, right? And let's just give a, a real quick answer and say the terp, terpene profile on all the strains I do are weed. They were all weed. It's all weed. You feel me? Like, listen, I got this fucking, fucking uh, grape Fanta soda shit. Uh, elevated, one of those grape marmalades stinks like grape Fanta soda. Tastes like it. Fucking tastes just like Fanta, like grape Fanta, man. I swear, man, it's so good, right? I was puffing on it like the last couple days because it's just, uh, it was grown under the LEDs and it's not seeded. And it's one of the phenos of my marmalade 2.0s that I uh, chose to work with in the future. Uh, I believe the same pheno, you, I think you got the, it's number six is super grape soda, man. I think that's the pheno you got. Anyway, so I had some over here and I told my wife, I said, smell this shit. I said, look, it smells just like fucking grape soda because we got a bunch of grape soda and orange soda for my oldest son because the, they don't got like a lot of caffeine in it. And I'm like, look, it's fucking, I was like, smell the fucking soda. Now smell this weed. She's like, it smells like skunk. What are you talking about? She's like, it doesn't smell like grape soda. I'm like, what is wrong with you? It smells just like Fanta. She's like, you're fucking crazy. It smells just like weed, dude. It smells like stinking skunk. I'm like, hell no. It's fucking grapes all day grapes. (laughs) Hell no. So like regular cats, all the weed, no matter what fucking flavor weed you got, you break it up, all they smell is skunk. All they smell is skunk. Any weed. I had the grapiest, terpiest, fucking dankest marmalade 2.0 grape soda cut, right? And motherfucker thinks it's skunk. They just think it's skunk right off the rip. It's fucking skunk weed, son. 100% skunk weed. (laughs) I'm like, no, this is not skunk. I'm like, dude, I'll bring the skunk over here. It's totally different. Then they say that smells like fucking candy apple kush or something. I don't know. (laughs) But no matter what, regular cats, every kind of weed, you know what it smells like? Weed. Mostly smells like skunk. Honestly, cats just think all weed smells like skunk. I know, like, us connoisseurs, we're like, hell no, that ain't skunk. That's fucking orange. Oh, that's banana. Oh, that's this. That's that. That's fucking candy. Yeah, well, bring bring your fucking Skittles super candy strain to a fucking regular dude, and he's going to tell you, dude, what you got that skunk? Oh, that must be that skunk weed. Smells just like skunk. Swear. I fucking swear, man. But it is what it is. It is what it is. So, yeah, as far as the fucking peanut butter shit, it's got earthy undertones, a little bit of nuttiness. I think a lot of the dosy do dough crosses have that nutty type of flavor. Um, That's me. That's what most connoisseurs think. If you ask people about dosi, they would say probably the same. But, I mean, you know, you show your wife it, she'll probably tell you it's skunk. It's skunk, yo. That dosi cross is definitely skunk. It's fucking skunk weed, yo.
but yeah, that's uh, that's real life. It's just weird because a lot of people I feel don't live in real life. <clears throat> burlap slap in the building. What up, burlap? My true chocolate S1 fino smells like chocolate and fucking wafers. Fucking delicious. I believe it. I mean, the cho- the fucking true chocolate that I made the S1s from is fucking super chocolate. Mocha, coffee type of deal. But again, you you can tell my wife and smell it, she'll tell you it's fucking skunkweed. So it is what it is. How's your potty, yo? No, I got a potty next weekend, man. Next weekend. <clears throat> Sour candy terp strains. Oh, there's a lot of them, man. Sour apple killer. A uh, bunch of stuff like that. How many days do I drive for? Uh, in production, seven days. Seven days, bro. I keep my shit way less humid than most motherfuckers do. My humidity is at like 40%. 40%, 70 degrees. I don't do that 60-60 shit. Production, production places do not do that. I get it. Connoisseurs do it. That's fine. Production, hell no. I ain't got, for one, I don't got 14 days to dry out weed. For two, I can't afford to lose 100, 150 pounds due to mold or PM. Uh, letting that shit sit there in high humidity like that, regardless if you think fucking it keeps more terps, in my opinion, it doesn't. Regardless, even if you think it does, whatever. Um, you won't be able to pass a microbial test. All it takes is one little fucking bud, man. All it takes is one little bud to have a little fucking bacteria on it, right? And then that bud get tested, and you're going to fail your whole batch. Your whole batch is going to get failed. You're going to have you're gonna have to fucking find a different fucking section and test that for a second test. And then hope and fucking pray it passes. And then if it don't pass, you're going to destroy your cannabis. You can't even use it. You're going to destroy it. So no, better be safe than sorry. You heard? Better be safe than sorry, man. And I get it. Listen, there's a lot of experimenting and a lot of shit people could do that maybe preserve a little bit of the terpene profile and this and that and whatever the fuck. <clears throat> I get it. Go for it, man. Keep pushing. Keep doing whatever the fuck you do that makes your shit the best that you enjoy the most, you know? But from a production standpoint where you got fucking, you know, tens of thousands of dollars of bills to pay, uh, you you got to fucking come correct. If if Trust me, if I didn't come correct, I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you. I wouldn't be sitting here talking. You know why? Because I'd be fucking broke. I'd be broke and poor. I wouldn't even have one iPhone. I wouldn't even have one iPhone to fucking go live. I'd be too broke to pay my phone bill. You know what I'm saying? That's what a lot of motherfuckers don't get to. Like, a lot of motherfuckers don't get, like, listen, you're taking word from a motherfucker that fucking's dead broke, living in a basement with a fucking, you know, their their porch is a fucking pallet. You see what I'm saying? Like a free pallet you picked up from Home Depot is your porch. Sitting on a stump. And you're going to fucking take word of these broke ass motherfuckers? Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Listen. Stupid is as stupid does. You want to be fucking broke and poor? Hang out with the broken poor guys. You want to fucking get rich? Go get some friends that are fucking rich. And then do what they do. Listen to them. You know, if this dude, you know, you, you meet a friend and he's fucking rich and balling. Well, fucking stop taking some tips from that motherfucker. Don't go to the broke guy and ask him for tips. Who the fuck wants to get tips from some broke ass motherfucker half homeless? Let me get a tip from him as if he knows anything. 
If the motherfucker knew anything, it's the same thing. Going to the grow shop and getting tips on how to grow weed from a guy behind the counter getting 10 bucks an hour. If that dude knew how to grow weed, he would not be working at the fucking store for 10 bucks an hour. Don't take tips from motherfucking broke ass motherfuckers. If you're trying to get ahead, then then take tips from a motherfucker that's ahead. Now, if you're trying to stay broke and be a hater and a troll, then hang out with the fucking broke ass haters that are trolls. Keep hanging with them. It ain't going to get you nowhere. It ain't going to get you nowhere besides broke and fucked up in the game. You want to be broke and fucked up in the game, hang with other motherfuckers that are broke and fucked up in the game. Very simple. Very simple. You want to be standing on the fucking corner doing little fucking bullshit shit? Well, then keep standing on the corner with the homies doing bullshit shit. You want to be on yachts and fucking Lamborghinis? Then meet some motherfuckers that fucking got a yacht and Lamborghinis and stop listening to them and put in the work they put in. And after time, you'll step it up to a Corolla and then maybe you'll step it up to a Camry and then maybe you'll step it up to a fucking Corvette and eventually you'll get to Lambo status. But it's going to take time. It's going to take dedication and commitment and consistency. You know, you're going to need to grind. You're going to need to work hard. You need, you're going to need to use your fucking head. You're going to need to pay attention. You know what I mean? But if you just want to be a fucktard and just listen to any old motherfucker with a fucking a deck made out of a pallet, then, hey, what do you want me to tell you? Good luck with your fucking summer vacation spot sleeping on a fucking pallet. I get it. I get it. Some of you motherfuckers like to sleep on pallets. Well, that's fine. My ass? Trust me, dude. I'm not trying to do that no more. I ain't out there trying to sleep on a cot. You heard? Three hots and a cot. Three hots and a fucking cot. I ain't trying to have three hots and a cot. You heard? So, yeah. Pay attention. Pay attention and take in knowledge and eventually maybe you guys could step it up and fucking uh, be somewhere where you're proud to be. <clears throat> and I li- listen, I get it, guys. All right, it's just, the Lambo's just an expression. If you don't like Lambo's, fine. Get a McLaren. What the fuck? Listen, half the motherfuckers in here never even sat in a Lambo or a McLaren. You're talking, McLaren's better than Lambo. Fucking Bugatti, huh? Fuck, huh? Listen, forget about it. Forget about it. Doesn't matter. Whatever you like. Whatever you like. I like the fucking Aventadors, all right? You don't like them, no big deal. I don't give a fuck. What the fuck I care? It's what I like. You heard? Honestly, I'll be honest. L- listen, the the fucking Stingray, or how about the new the new Corvette with the fucking middle engine, the C fucking CV whatever the fuck it is. That thing's fucking bad, bro. That's badass. And listen, I'll I'll be fucking truthful with you. The fucking Corvette Stingray that I fucking rented for a little while, that thing was fucking so fast that it scared the shit out of me. All right, the Lambos they got all wheel drive, bro. They got all-wheel drive. The Ferraris, they're all-wheel drive. Those fucking things, yeah, they're fast. They're fast as fuck, but they feel super safe. When you drive them, they feel super safe. Listen, you jump in a Corvette with that fucking rear fucking engine or the front engine, but the rear tires spin. Dude, I stepped on the gas and took a turn, and I did a straight 360. Straight 360 in the middle of traffic. I looked like the stupidest motherfucker in the game. It was one of those new Stingrays a couple years ago, right? I fucking pulled out of the rental spot, and I floored it to see if it fucking had any, any, you know, let me see if this thing has any fucking juice to it. I stepped on the fucking gas. I looked like the biggest idiot ever. I almost smashed it. I just, I was right still at the building, bro. I was still at the building. I almost wrecked this whole fucking Stingray right in front of the building. I did a straight 360, almost shit my pants, right? Almost straight shit my pants. I was scared to death. 
And then finally I fucking evened out and I was like, holy shit. And then for the rest of the fucking day, I was like, I'm going real easy with this bitch. I was like, this ain't like the fucking Lambos, bro. I step on the gas on this thing and fucking all of a sudden you got like a thousand horsepower fucking ripping you right out of your seat. This shit was crazy. And listen, the Stingray is like 80, 90, 100 grand, whatever the fuck it is, you know, the souped up special edition, whatever the fuck it was. It's not that expensive. Those are dope cars. Those are dope cars. Listen, if I ever buy a fucking dope ass fucking kind of sports shit like that, it'll probably be one of the new Corvettes before a fucking Lambo and all that shit. It's just, I don't know. There's something about it, man. American made. It, I'll be honest. It don't handle as well because, you know, obviously if you're fucking doing 360s in the middle of traffic, that's not really good handling. <laughs> all right. That's not really good race car type of handling. But goddamn, goddamn. It gives you that feeling of panic, bro. <laughs> it gives you that fucking feeling of panic that you just don't get in any other car. The C8, 5x5 Gardens, that's the new one with the, the middle engine. The C8. Yeah, like the base model's like 70 grand, but you, you want to get a little hooked up a little more. Spend like 90 or 100 and you get that thing fully loaded. You know what I mean? But yeah, I definitely... uh. I definitely like to get that fucking. I, I'd like to even rent it first to see how it is. I know, I know, there's still a waiting list for them. I know, um, I know they just came out and dropped. I haven't even seen them. I haven't been traveling, so I haven't seen any uh, any like exotic spots. But when I see one, I'm fucking renting it. And if I like it, I'm gonna buy it. Fuck, I'll buy it. I don't give a fuck. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Stick it in the fucking garage. Put fucking put something in the garage. Put more shit in more garages. Fuck it. I'm going to build another garage. Fuck it. What are you going to do? We got the garage Mahal around here. You know? Like the Taj Mahal. We got the garage Mahal, motherfucker. Garage Mahal up in this bitch. Motherfuckers be madder than a motherfucker. They come around here. Listen, I get why motherfuckers be hating too. You're sleeping on a fucking cot. Right? Two hots and a cot. And then your fucking copy walks around and you motherfuckers get super fucking pissed off. This motherfucker got the garage mahal over here. What the fuck? I get it. But listen, it's not me flossing and trying to be fucking fancy, dude. It's me just, I'm a regular fucking dude. I'm a regular dude. I'm proud of what the fuck I am. Regular motherfucker. Hustler from back in the day. OG. Straight from the fucking straight convict. Never snitch. No snitching. Straight for a case from the inside. No bail. Beat the case. I didn't cop out to no plea. I didn't cop out to no plea. How many motherfuckers you know that fucking go to court and don't cop to a plea deal when they're facing 60 years? How many motherfuckers you know face 60 years and don't take the plea deal? Huh? None. I'll tell you right now. None. That's how many you know. None. None. You know zero motherfuckers. Trust me, dude. I had a team of attorneys telling me, listen, dude, maybe you should take this deal. You know, when they, when they finally got the best deal and it was three years, they were like, listen, you already got like 18 months in. Dude, you could go up for parole right now. Just take the deal. You know what I told them? I said, nah. I said, fuck that deal. I said, I didn't fucking do what they're saying I'm doing. I'm not fucking putting it on my fucking record. No. A couple months went by. Case dismissed, nigga. Case dismissed. You heard? Now imagine if I took the first deal. The first deal was 12 years. The first deal, the first offer on the table was 12 years. Or take it to trial and you'll get 60. Most motherfuckers would have took the first deal. It would have been like 12 or 60. I'll take the 12, yo. I'll take the 12. No time for that shit. Motherfuckers got to hold your ground. Only real motherfuckers know what I'm talking about. Only real ass motherfuckers know what I'm talking about. It's a different situation that I fucking hope and pray not one motherfucker ever has to deal with.
What if I didn't have any money? Listen, when I got fucking locked up, they seized half of my shit, bro. They seize all assets. When it's drug related, they seize all assets they can, motherfucker. I didn't have money. I was broke as a joke. I had to borrow 30 racks just to keep my bills paid. I had to borrow 30 from a homie who was a female who fucking paid all of my fucking bills while I was locked up for my wife and kids. Lucky she's rich as fuck. Just taking a couple of puffs, uh, reading the chat. So what's up, motherfuckers? What y'all motherfuckers doing? What y'all motherfuckers doing? Butter candy's cleaning. Homeboy's eating Arby's. I don't think we have Arby's out here. What's that, roast beef shit? I don't think we have that. We got Walt's roast beef. It's all right. How many of you motherfuckers know about New York system hot weenies? Who knows about New York system hot weenies? That's the fucking question. Y'all motherfuckers don't know about hot weenies? Because that's where it's at. Hot weenies. My wife will throw up. If she smells a hot weenie, she'll throw up. She'll fucking straight throw up. I haven't had a hot weenie since I've been out. Since I've been out of the clink, I still haven't had one. Still haven't had one. fucking dying for one I'll eat 12 of them straight up I'll eat 12 all the way I'll probably only finish 4 of them but I'll save the other fucking 8 I'll save the other 8 hot links no <laughs> hot weenies <laughs> hot links <laughs> no I think it's a I think it's just a Rhode Island thing I think it's a Rhode Island thing because the only place I would go is in Oneyville. I would have to go to Rhode Island to get them. Skinny red hot dogs? No. They're not red. They're not skinny. Uh, you, It's similar to like a chili dog, like a Coney Island chili dog, but it's it's not the same thing, but it's similar. It's got It's a hot dog with the meat sauce and the fucking onions, a little mustard, some celery salt. It's delicious. No, they're not Vienna dogs. What are you, crazy? Yeah, like Coney Island. If you know about Coney Island dog, they call them chili dogs. It's like a chili dog, only fucking better. Uh, no, it's not Chicago. Chicago dogs got pickles and shit on them. That's different. I travel. I get all these places, man. Big Al's Roast Beef, Philly fucking Max's Steakhouse. I've been to all the shitholes. I go to all the shitholes, man. Listen, if it's a popular shithole, I'm there. I'll make a trip just to go eat some shitty food. Trust me. I'm that guy. I'm that guy. I'm the motherfucker. When I travel, I go to the weirdest, poorest, fucking whacked out places. Even though I'm staying in a rich-ass fancy spot. 
I want to go see the fucking streets. I want to see the streets. I don't give a fuck. That's the first spot. That's why when I go to Miami, the first spot I go is the swamp. I'm in the fucking swamp with alligators. And I go back to Fountain Blue. What? You go from Millionaire Square to fucking the swamps. You roll up to the swamps in a fucking Lambo. <laughs> Straight up. When it, trust me. Way more than fucking five, ten times I've done that. Look like a straight fucking tourist. Motherfucker's like, what's wrong with this guy? I'm here for the Gators. Hey, I'm here for the Gators. I heard uh, I heard you're doing boat rides over here. I could uh, I could uh, swim with a fucking alligator or something, huh? I heard I'm over here, and uh, you guys got alligators over here in the swamp. What's it going to take? What's it going to cost me to fucking uh, jump in this swamp with these motherfucking alligators, huh? You know how fast this is? They say, oh, we could do a tour. We could do a night tour, day tour. Yo, how much time do you got? We'll take you in there. Don't worry about it. It's safe. It's safe. Ah, fine, go. They start, they, they become Italian. They start talking to me. Next thing you know, they're Italian. Oh, hey, yo. Oh, whoa, we got this guy from New York over here. He wants to swim with the fucking alligators, huh? Come on. Let's get him a fucking tour. We got a boat free. We got a fucking air boat free. Come on. Huh? Look at this guy over here, huh? Get him in here. Come on. Let's go. Let's go right now. We could do this right now. What do you got? Two hours, one hour, five hours. How long you got? We'll pull, we'll pull some pythons out of there. We'll fucking, we'll find. Don't worry about it. I know right down in the corner over here, there's a, there's a nest of alligators. We'll, we'll have to fucking fight the mother off and we'll get you one of those babies. You want a fucking baby? You want a couple babies? Take home with you, put them in your pocket. Huh? You're going to put one of those alligators in your fucking fancy pocket, huh? Come on, come with us. Don't worry about nothing, huh? Fungo, I know what you're talking about, buddy. My cousin lives in New York, huh? Fucking cannolis in New York. Oh, I love when I go visit them, get those fucking cannolis, huh? Little Italy, huh? You're from Little Italy. I could tell from your accent. You're from fucking Little Italy. Knowing the motherfucker's a redneck. Redneck, swamp, Yankee motherfucker. Never been to New York. Doesn't even know what a building looks like. Turns straight 100% Italian when you roll up. <laughs> you roll up, motherfucker, talking about putting baby alligators in your pocket. Taking them home. Don't worry about nothing. We got you. It's going to be 400 an hour for four hours and... You, let's just say, uh, let's call it two grand even, and uh, we'll get your baby alligator to take home in your pocket. Huh? Don't get caught on the plane, and you didn't get it from here. You didn't get it from us. Eh? Tell them you found it on the fucking street, crossing the street. You saved it. It was, You know, you were driving around. The fucking baby was crossing the street. You saved it. Huh? They can't do nothing. Don't worry about nothing. They can't do nothing. As long as you found it on the street, they can't do nothing. Trust me, I've been told some crazy shit, dude. When when motherfuckers know you're spending money, they'll tell you some crazy shit. They'll let you do whatever the fuck you want to do. They'll tell you how to break the law, how to fucking be good with the law and break it at the same time, how to be safe, and uh, <laughs> they they tell you everything. They're fucking nuts. The motherfuckers are nuts, dude. I'm t- I'm t- telling you, they're fucking nuts. As soon as a motherfucker knows you're going to spend some money, they'll tell you fucking every song and dance under the sun, bro. Every fucking song and dance under the sun. As long as you're paying them, anything can happen. Anything you want could happen. It's the truth. I can't make it up. I can't make this shit up. I'm trying to tell you. You think a guy never told me about a fucking alligator in my pocket? You think I'd never been told that? What, did I just pull it out of my ass? Of course I've been told that. And you think I fucking don't know that if you found it on the street and just say you were fucking rescuing it, that it's okay to have it? Because you're not supposed to be in the swamp or whatever. You're not supposed to pull the gators out of the swamp, but if you found it crossing the street and saved it from getting run over, you're good. It's good. It's all good. (laughs) It's all good. How would I know that's legit? It's probably not even legit. (laughs) That's the funny part. It's probably not even legit. I just assume it's legit because some motherfucker seems pretty legit and told me that it was legit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's probably fucking not legit. So don't don't take my word on it. Don't take my word on it because, listen, I'm not a swamp Yankee. I don't know. I'm just the guy that likes to play in the swamp with the gators. I don't live there. It seemed legit. 
But now that I think about it, <laughs> it's probably not legit. It's probably not legit. Yeah, rescue. It's the animal loophole. You could own any animal you want. You just could say you rescued it. <laughs> I rescued this little cocksucker. It's fine. He's going to be 12 feet and eating fucking pigs <laughs> in my backyard, but it's totally fine. I rescued him. Ah, huh? fine, go. What do you want me to do? Leave him? Want me to let him get hit by a car? This little cute alligator that's going to be fucking 400 pounds? <laughs> Jaws of steel? <laughs> I had to rescue him. How many donations you think it will take to get the morning show host to ride one of those horses live? I have no idea. The morning show host? I don't know. Is that a thing? You must wake up mad early and watch some weird shit. You must be into that regular TV life. Only time my TV's turned on is when Netflix is on. Or Hulu. I don't watch anything. I don't have any idea what's going on. With the news, with all this shit, listen, I have, I'm totally clueless. I know they reopened a lot of shit, and it's like phase one and phase two, they're opening different things. I have no idea what any of it means. Nothing. No clue. I don't even fucking, I, I don't watch anything. So I'm out of the loop, bro. I'm totally out of the loop. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. It keeps me focused on what I need to be focused on. Yeah, a toothless gator will still break your fucking arm off and rip it off. The teeth ain't, you, you don't even got to worry about the teeth. It's the fucking power of the jaws. They're like, they're, forget it. The jaws are fucking ridiculous. And you won't know until you feed a gator by hand. And say you got like a chicken leg or something like that. And you feed the gator and let him take it out of your hand. When he pulls, if you think you're a pit bull... Or, or your dog got powerful jaws, feed a fucking gator, bro. You'll see the difference. Because then the gator gets it, and then if the gator, if you hold on to it a little bit and give it a little struggle, the gator will spin and do a death roll. It's a whole nother level. It's a whole nother level. The power, you'd be like, oh, fuck. You'd know why. you know why right away they're the kings of the fucking castle, bro. Those things are dinosaurs. They're all about destruction. <laughs> they will d destroy animals. If you're a little fucking deer in the woods, you don't want to come across a gator, bro. He'll grab you and rip you to shreds. <laughs> you d d Forget it. If you're a little fucking animal in the woods fucking hopping around, stay away from the fucking swamps, bro. Why you think up in New England and Colorado and shit, you got all these fucking fuzzy animals and shit? You know why? Because there's no gators. I don't give a fuck about wolves, bears, fuck. They're all fuzzy too, man. Listen, you get a fucking bear at the water hole and a fucking gator would drag that thing underwater and eat the fuck out of it. <clears throat> it's two different worlds, man. The gators are like fucking dinosaurs. They're like machines with steel. And a bear is just flesh with fur. You know, it's two whole different worlds. Nah, Komodo dragons ain't nothing. The Komodo dragons are just got mad bacteria in their mouth. So when they bite you, you get fucked up. You get fucked up. And don't get me wrong, monitor lizards in general have razor sharp teeth. And they will fuck you up. I had, I had Nile monitors, I had all that shit. And they will fuck you up. They'll take your finger right down to the bone. But a gator will rip your limbs off. 
the lizards, they'll just, they'll, they'll skin you. You know, they bite you, they'll bite you to the bone and whatever. They'll take all the skin and meat right off you. But a gator will fucking rip your arm off. A gator will rip your leg off. It'll bite your leg. It won't let go. It'll spin and your fucking leg will come right off. You'll be laying there crying and that motherfucker will swallow it right in front of you. You'll be sick. God, oh my God. Let me never fucking have that happen to me, please, Lord Jesus. Because I like playing with these things, but damn, if they ever, if I ever went live one day and I didn't have a leg anymore, you'd know why. <laughs> oh, Cappy hasn't gone live in a couple months. Yeah, you know why? Motherfucker was in the swamp at the wrong time with the wrong gator. Two minutes on the motherfucking clock. All love, everybody. I appreciate your support. Thanks for tuning in to another motherfucking Daily Dose. If you got questions, shoot me an email. Copycat Genetics at Outlook.com. If you want, only if you want, sign up for the motherfucking email list. Copycat Genetics with an X.com. Scroll to the bottom of the main page. Hit subscribe. Then you'll find out about new drops, new sales, all that bullshit. You want to know about that bullshit? Sign up for the motherfucking email list. Other than that, be kind to one another. Respect each other. Help an old lady cross the street. Butter candy. Perpetual grows. Drew gold. Uh, flat all day, every day, elevated, puffaluffagus, <clears throat> all the motherfucking homies in the building. I appreciate your support, and I thank you for tuning in to another motherfucking Daily Dose, all right? I'll catch you guys tomorrow. All love, everybody. Have a great night. Peace.